everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I don't watch Dana Coverstone anymore. I know I've made several videos in the past on Dana Coverstone and all of his dreams. I'm gonna tell you now why I quit watching him. I just, I had to stop watching him. Not too long ago, he took his dreams to YouTube. He made his own YouTube channel. This is not Dana's words, this is my words. He wanted all the glory to be about him. Go watch his channel. If you wanna know about Dana, he says, I've made my own YouTube channel. And if you wanna see my actual dreams, go to my channel. He's monetized that channel. He's got commercials on the channel. He's making money off of this. He's making money off of it, plain and simple. He also has a PayPal account now. If you wanna send him money, the church money, whoever it is money, he's got a PayPal account, account with his name in it, all right? You could send him money through that PayPal account. I don't agree with this. I, I personally, my opinion, I don't agree with what he's doing because if God is going to give you a dream or a prophecy or something that you need to share with the world, no matter what, it needs to get out there. If it's true, if it's real, don't you think you'd be more worried about more people hearing it? The more people made videos about it or talked about it or shared data story out don't you think that's what god would call real or that that that's what god would want instead of come to my channel watch it at my channel it's the only original dana coverstone channel out there okay that's why i quit watching him plus a few things that he has said and done i just ah uh, I haven't made a video in a while because I've been thinking about it. I've been praying about it. God doesn't want us to be afraid. God doesn't, God doesn't want us to fear. We need to put more attention right now on God and the Bible. Not Dana. Not Dana. God doesn't want us being so hung up on what Dana is saying and forget about him. That's, that's not what God wants us to do. There are 365 times in the Bible that God says fear not. He doesn't want us to fear. And, and what these dreams and what these prophecies are doing, they're, they're putting fear in the world. They're putting fear in the nation. People are afraid. People follow him every day. Did he have another dream? Did he have another dream? Did he have another dream? It doesn't matter anymore. Don't, don't. Stop watching it. Stop. If you're one of those people, stop, stop watching them. Pick up your Bible and start reading what God has said. What, what's God telling you? In the Bible, right here, Isaiah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some scripture today. I have my phone here. I've screenshotted some. Because I think you need to hear that. I think I needed to hear this. This is what I needed to hear. In Isaiah 35, 4. Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not, behold, your God will come with a vengeance. With the recompass of God, he will come and save you. That's what's going to save us, God. God is the one that's going to save us, not Dana Coverstone and not his dreams, not his prophecies. Turn to God. That's what God wants. You, that's what God wants you to do right now. That's what God needed me to do. In Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 3:22, you shall not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. Deuteronomy 3:22. God is going to fight for us. Do you think that God is? I mean, when when I heard the dreams and the prophecies and him talking about this and getting your weapons and getting your ammunition. Do you think in the, where in the Bible does it say collect ammunition? Where, where does it say that? Because I can't find it. I, I don't know. Maybe it says it in there somewhere. Maybe somebody could tell me. I don't know. But where, where does it say collect your ammunition because you're going to need it for your neighbors? I, I don't know. Where, where does it say that? If you want to ha have a reasonable amount, I mean, 
my husband has guns and we have ammunition here but we don't have mounds and mounds and mounds and mounds of ammunition no faith that's where your faith comes in you need to believe in God believe in God because he's telling you to fear not God I don't know, see my cat back there it's a crazy cat God wants you to have peace in your heart peace not fear peace Luke 14 27 peace I leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give you let not your hearts be troubled neither let them be afraid I mean who should we listen to here who's right all the dreams and the prophecies are God saying fear not fear not for I the Lord your God hold your right hand it is I who say to you, fear not, I am the one who helps you. Isaiah 41, 13. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. Psalms 34, 4 and 5. I mean, pick up your Bible and start reading that. Turn off your news for a while if you have to. Turn off your news for a day and see what happens. Nothing's going to change. It's all going to be the same. God's going to come. He's going to come back. He promises us that. Are you going to be ready for that? Are you going to be ready when God comes back? You need God in your heart more than anything right now. You need to pick up your Bible. Start reading. Start listening to God. Start praying. Start living a godly life. Helping your neighbor. And the words in the Bible, when you read them, I promise you they'll make sense. They'll make sense. The more you read, the more it'll make sense. You need God right now. So put down, put down your remote control. Put down your computer. Put down everything. Pick up your Bible. Start reading. And start living a godly life. Trusting in God. Don't fear. We, don't, we have nothing to fear. Things are going to come to pass. Things are going to happen around us. It might be scary. But we have our almighty God. God that we can count on because he told us in the Bible he promised us I'll be there for you fear not all right I'll see you next time bye